Hi everybody, my name is Julie Stebby. I'm the owner and author of the Analytics Corner blog that you can find at the link shown on the screen. Now, I love watching the Alteryx designer boards because I learn new things all the time. And this week, a discussion popped up where a user asked how they can incorporate line breaks into an email body. And that sounds easy, but it turns out it requires a little bit of intervention. After reading the post, I searched the community and the web just to make sure that this subject hadn't been discussed before, and I found a knowledge base article that seemed to have the answer. And I, at the time, I wasn't able to really dig into it and put together a sample flow, but I posted the link in the thread, and one of the other aces dug into it immediately. They posted a solution, and then I took a look at that solution and refined it a little bit more. And this is why the Alteryx community is so awesome, is because you have a lot of people out there who are ready and willing to help at uh, lightning speed, really. Let's talk about how we can learn to incorporate line breaks into an Alteryx email. So I'm going to start in my text input tool. And here I have added a first name and a last name of a theoretical customer, and then a sales pitch for extending your car's warranty. I created my sales pitch in Word, and then I just copied and pasted it into this text input tool. From my text input tool, and, and by the way, I'm going to show you what's wrong and how this doesn't work, and then I'm going to show you the solution. So in my formula tool, I create a customized intro with the first and last name of my customer, and then I combine my intro and my sales pitch into a column called body. And I've already run this flow, and you can see in my results pane, you'll notice that the sales pitch column, the carriage returns are, are happening because in the start of my text input, the first line here is a carriage return. And Alteryx is recognizing that there are, there are embedded new lines. That's kind of what it looks like after the formula tool. And then my email tool is using this body field to populate the email when it sends. And because I've already run this, I'll go ahead and drag over the email that it creates. And you'll see that even though there are line breaks in the formula tool when the data comes out, when the email gets sent, the line breaks are gone. That's the problem that we're trying to solve. I have another container here with essentially the same tools. And my formula tool just has one extra expression. I'm using a replace function against the body column, and I am replacing the carriage return with a HTML line break end tag. And so what you're seeing in this replace function is I put in a single quote to denote what I want to replace, which is the carriage return. So single quote, you hit enter, and then you add another single quote to denote the end of what you want to replace, and then you insert the HTML tag. So I'll go ahead and throw this guy into a container and close that container, and I'll run this and show you what comes back. And the only difference here is I'm using the body reformatted instead of the body. So I'll run that. And here is the form properly formatted email that maintains all of the line breaks. So this is actually a pretty simple fix, but not necessarily very intuitive. And so now you know how to get line breaks into an Alteryx email. If you enjoyed this, check out my Alteryx playlist, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.